Good afternoon, brothers and sisters, and Father God and I welcome you here at this time. And as I've always shared, it's such a great joy to be able to come and share reflection from my heart as Father stirs within me to be open to allow him to bring things that reveal where he is with each one of us. And, you know, I believe we need to be reminded as I was spoke, uh, speaking uh, to be open to share his word with one another. It encourages uh, each of us to know that we are here to build one another up. So as I say, every week when the time is given and he opens his time up that I can come and share uh, from his holy word, it just brings me great joy to do that. And uh, we are to do that with one another. It's a part of our calling is to minister and to walk with each other. So this morning, as I come into this time of devotion with him, uh, it came into my path from Isaiah. It comes from Isaiah 40, and it begins in verse 31. Let me read to you what the word of God speaks here from Isaiah. But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. This is such a great movement within us to know that when we're walking closely with the Lord and we are focused on Him, and as our eyes are open, it gives us great beauty to see how powerful Father God is and how almighty He is. Like today, it is so beautiful to go out and be able to look up into the skies and see the greatness of the beauty that we, we see when we are open to know that in everything we see beauty whether it is from the sun that is shining on the day that is given to us or if it is a day of cloudiness we are still able to see that God brings everything to us in a way that renews us and refreshes us that, that when we are open we see beauty in everything no matter what the circumstances are or what our challenges are and it's just wonderful how you know when you go out for myself in the in the evenings late in the evenings and i look up and can see the stars it just brings renewal and refreshment that we have hope of an almighty god that has created this universe and through everything he brings to us the beauty and everything no matter how bad things seem to us there is beauty in all that we are walking through and walking in it's just how we are able to stay focused on jesus and stay close to his holy word to know that we're never forsaken and he never leaves us and you know when we look up we can be reminded we can be reminded by the chirping of a bird, a gentle breeze that blows on a warm sunny day or even a cool winter winter day. That breeze is a reminder that our God is a creative God and he has the power to strengthen us and to lift us up. And that power is instilled and given to us as we get renewed and um, refreshed. Uh, by spending time with him, communing with him, that we're able to help others and to help walk with them through those moments and those times that it, and, you know, as we all do, we have our moments that we need one another. And Father has given that to us. So as I read this, as I read this from this scripture, this is our hope, the hope in the Lord that has, uh, has given us he gives us so much hope that we can have confidence of, of knowing that we you know we are able to be able to uh to move and we can wait knowing that father god is here and he's going to get us through whatever we go through and when our hearts are open our eyes can see the beauty and everything this this great god our god the creator of this universe he is the almighty one and what encouragements that, as this verse tells us, but those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not faint. That is what we're able to do because we are able to do that in God's strength and not our own. And our focus stays on Father 
who is the Almighty Sovereign One. We, we serve Him with the love that He's placed in our hearts to know who He is. And the more we draw and commune with Him, the more we're able to be revealed of more of who He is and understand that He loves us. So it's just great refreshing to be able to go and share that and be a part of that connection with others that are open to know that we are given what Father has openly gave through His Son, Jesus. And that is pretty powerful. And that is enough to shout hallelujah from the mountaintop and to share our faith with everybody and to have confidence that Father God is with us and we're never alone and He will never forsake us. So let us go into prayer. Oh, Father, we're so grateful, Lord. Thank you, Father, for the opportunity to serve you, Lord, and to be able to connect with other brothers and sisters that are walking with you, Lord. Oh, Father, what love it is uh, from your Son, Jesus Christ, that is given to us, Lord. And we know, Father, that when we come and we receive and we uh, embrace, Father, embrace what is given to us, we, we can walk in that faith strongly. Father, we know that, Lord God, that when we are open, we can see the beauty in all things. And, Father, we know that we are strengthened. And, yes, Father, we're able to soar like an eagle above all things that we encounter or come, um, come into uh, our path. We're able, Father, because of your strength and your power that you give us within so, Lord God, we're just so grateful. We come and we praise you. And, Father, as, as I unite with my brothers and sisters, I come and I lift them up, Lord, that you will continue to speak to them. And that, Father God, that uh, renew and to be able to draw them closer. As we all, Father, we continue to seek more of you and less of ourselves. So, Father, as we come into this time connected in your spirit, we ask, Father, that your your anointing will continue to pour over us as your church and that, Father, you will continue to strengthen us to carry out the gospel of Jesus Christ to all of those, Father, that are in need of knowing that, Father, you sent your Son to earth to save us from our sin and that at the cross, Lord, he suffered and he died for each and every one of us who come and believes in him. We ask this, Father, in your holy name, to glorify you, Father, his holy name, Father, our Lord and our Savior, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Bye-bye.